the bib. My name is Michiel Haynes and I'm going to present a video to explain the application of well fatigue calculations um, to eventually perform damage calculations. So let's go through the problem statement. According to the problem statement, a flat section of thickness 28.95 mm is joined to a flat section of thickness 20 mm using a manual shielded metal arc welding process to produce the double V-groove weld of the bud joint shown in figure 6. Now if we go down to figure 6, here yeah, we can see the joint. So we can see it's a tapered section, but it's a complete joint penetration joint that we will have there. Uh, and all the dimensions are given. Both sections are from 300W structural steel and a normal match electrode was used. The 2mm root face has a root opening of 1mm and the sections camfered to produce a groove angle alpha equal to 60 degrees. This detail can be seen on the well detail given here. So here is the specific detail, all the information here that was applicable in the construction of this joint. And we can see that all the parameters fall within the tolerances allowed for the relevant dimensions. The thick section is ground in the direction of the principal stress to produce a taper of 1 to 5. The height of the weld convexity is measured at 8% of the weld width with smooth transition to the plate surface. The welding procedure specification required the use of weld run on and run off pieces that were removed afterwards. The edges are ground flush with the surface with the grinding marks in the direction of the axial stress, which is also the direction of the principal stress in this case. Welding was done from both sides and ultrasonic testing done to confirm the absence of subsurface imperfections in the weld. The stress spectrum of the joint over a two period of two years is as summarized in Table 1. And here we have Table 1 and we can see that we've got a maximum and a minimum stress for a certain number of cycles. For your information, the following has been included. EN1993 Part 1 Part 9 Table 8.3 The design requires a safe life assessment method with high consequence of failure. The operating temperature is 250 degrees Celsius and the surface is corrosion protected using International Paints HD10 epoxy paint. No post weld treatment was done. No post weld improvement were done to the weld detail. As you can understand, in cases where post weld treatment were done, we would use the appropriate benefit factors that we can get from the, from the notes that I provided to you. Now let's see what the questions want. These are the list of questions and this list of questions are typically what you would have in that uh, it's a typical recipe that you will follow when you need to solve this type of problem in practice. Um, we first find the partial factor for fatigue, then what other factors need to be taken into account, what is the detailed category for this joint, what value must you take into account for the thickness effect in this case, where do you expect the crack to initiate first in the joint. Now, as you know and as discussed during the lectures, this is the weakest point and in this case we expect it to be at the weld toe. If the stress spectrum refers to a block loading applied to the joint over a period of two years, oh sorry, eight years, I can see yes, eight years now, and um, uh, uh, we've said here, this was two years. So, um, maybe there will be a confusion there, but um, I'll be sensitive for that confusion. But they say, yeah, if the stress spectrum refers to a block loading applied to the joint over a period of eight years, 
what estimate of a T cloud would you make for the welded joint from a prob for a probability of failure of 5%? That is, for a probability of survival of 95%. As we know, these SN curves offer confidence levels in the area of 70 to 75%. What improvement in detail category is possible in this case with hammer pinning? if we apply that after the smoothing. I'm going to stop the, 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 this video now. Uh, the next video will take the issue further where we start solving the problem and where we get all these factors that we need and the detailed category um, to perform the necessary damage calculation.